Yo, what's going on guys? ACF Wolfman here, back with another GTA Online video. This is an update, part of a new little thing that we're doing uh, with the updates of GTA Online. Not so much, <coughs> not so much the actual updates themselves, but just updating either normal players or maybe some new players of certain things that I come across during some casual gaming of GTA Online and we are going to start with the Motor Wars um, for this week's event week you get three times money in RP for p participating in them um, we're gonna go over a certain tactic which I have used every single time since seeing it once been done before and this tactic does involve some pretty quick maneuvering and for you to know the locations of the vehicles on the maps and also to know the maps themselves to know which ways to go <coughs> um, and the best routes so as you can see we are getting a half track uh, which has a uh, turret on the back which needs to be operated by another player so you are going to need at least for this to be effective at least three people on your team uh, one to drive one to go in that turret and one to go into the tag along turret as I call it because I can't remember what the actual name of it is um, which you can find I think there's two maybe three on each map uh, always hooked up to a night shark now you can detach the tag along turret from that night shark and connect it to the half track which in essence turns the the vehicle combination into a pretty insane one um, luckily I got some beautiful timed skilled gameplay here literally everything worked out as beautifully as I could imagine um, but basically all you gotta do is hook that the tag along turret onto the back of the half track go to your team go pick them up and then you have basically uh, six MG, combat MG's all firing at once and it doesn't take long to destroy vehicles. The easiest ones to destroy are the Tampa and the Buggy. Those are the two easiest because those are essentially just casual normal cars. <coughs> um, next most difficult ones will probably <coughs> be the Insurgents just because their armor is a bit more beefy. Um, but I have to say the most difficult one is probably going to be the other half tracks because they have the exact same weapons and none of these vehicles have any more advantage than any others. So, but yeah, to make it effective you are going to need three people at least. Uh, the tag along turret is the more powerful out of the two and you do have a slight decreased speed when dragging it along but that's obvious um, but this is something like I said at the beginning you're gonna have to get on it quick because a lot of people do the same thing so you need to learn these maps learn where the vehicles are and get to them like this one for example this map which I think is Motor Wars 1 uh, the tag along turret is actually in the docks and then the half track is by the subway station <clears throat> so both of them are very close together you can easily get over there and easily get them all together I'm not sure if like I how I started there I'm on green team at the moment I'm not sure if the team color locations uh, rotate so like if we did that again would it be orange team starting over at the docks I don't know 
Um, all I know is that these two are the best that I've come across being the closest. Um, so that is the first thing that I'm going to talk about on that. And the second, if we go along to it, is the tactic of where people tend to congregate or where they group up so if you've got a large team this is going to be fantastic for you basically the best thing you can do if you're like if your whole team is going to stick together the best thing you can do is to get as many turrets as you can so get all the half tracks you can get get uh, all the tag along turrets you can get any vehicle that's got a decent weapon, the insurgents, get it all and get into the center. You group up all into the center. Again, for example, this map, the center part was the maze bank. Um, so what you'll see in the clip is all of us grouping up, or what was left of us anyway, grouping up into the maze bank and basically just sitting there and waiting because the circle that decreases in size over time does it does get quite tight so you're going to want to make sure you get into that center because if you're out of that center you've got 30 seconds to get back into the zone and <coughs> it's you know 30 seconds is quite quick if you've got to run there those are my two my two tactics that I use and have discovered while doing the motor wars. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully this was helpful for you. I'm probably doubtfully going to be noticing more, more of this tactics going around. But until then, I will leave you that with you. Please leave a like leave a like if you did enjoy or if it was helpful Post your comments down below and let me know what you think of the tactic or if you have a better tactic that works for you Let us know in the comments. This will share as one and obviously don't forget to subscribe uh, If you did enjoy and to click the notification bell if you enjoyed and want to see more to get any notifications of updates and videos and I will see you all in the next one.